Daily Broadside, day 71, Island Side. Just finishing up the second Barbara Olson book that I've been meaning to read forever about the Clintons. Two people who are absolute, entitled, elitist douche cocks. I mean, oh, they couldn't be worse people. They really can't. And uh, Barbara Olson, of course, died in the Pentagon crash on 9-11, which leads me to start to think that there is a conspiracy out there that perhaps Hillary was involved in the perpetration of 9-11. I'm sure people like Vince Foster would tend to agree with that kind of outlier thinking, but nevertheless. You ever notice how all the games you play on the beach, you know, that uh, strike slam ball, whatever it's called, uh, uh, bocce, that little thing where you throw bolos onto a, like a coat rack, like none of that stuff is ever played on the mainland. Like nobody is at home going, hey, let's break out the bocce. They're only reserved for beaches. It's kind of weird. I was in Dollar Tree the other day, and uh, I don't really know why, but while I was waiting, I was looking through the uh, dollar bin of CDs. And I know a lot about movies. I'm pretty well versed in it. I searched through that whole thing. There was probably 120 of them. I didn't recognize one single title until I got to Minute Work with uh, Emilio Estevez and Charlie Sheen, that 80s movie. That was it. Like, that was the most... Uh, popular movie that I, I could recognize. The rest of them were like nine D-list, whatever. I think we need to teach more presidents how to properly salute. There's nothing worse than a president who has a weak salute. I don't care if you get somebody with some military training to give a little five minute refresher course, let them watch Al Pacino and Sin of a Woman. I don't know if it's something needs to give. A little bit more respect given to those people, all right? And dear police chiefs and deputies and sheriffs and other people in charge of agencies sometimes you screw up you gotta admit it you can't hide this stuff and that how uh you i'm probably saying it wrong if it comes out that those officers didn't go in when they should have and just admit it you know there's a thing in, in in most police departments if not all for cowardice fire them demote them get rid of them somehow punish them whatever deal with it in training and move on but by no means should you sweep that crap under the rug because that's just bad press. And you got to own it when you, when you mess up. That's just how it is.